Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So till now we have discussed multiple ETL testing interview questions. Okay. Today we are going to discuss another interesting question and the interesting question on the SQL part. But this question is not only for the ETL testers, okay, even as developers as well as big data engineers and whoever working on even SQL, they can listen this. Okay. They can go ahead and they can practice this. See, here we have an input tables, okay? Two input tables are the employee table as well as department table. If you see in employee table, we have an employee ID column, department ID column, and salary column is there. And department table, we have a two columns, department ID and department name. Now, my question is, okay, find out the highest salary along with department name. The output should come employee id and department name and salary the output goes here what is the highest salary in department 10 20 000. and what is the highest salary in department 20 40 000. along with that we have to get the department name department name if you understand department name is present in department id of department table and uh, salary and employee is present in employee table okay see here two tables are involved if you get, if I can go ahead and do this, okay. Generally, if it if it is a single table, then I can go ahead and group by department ID. So I can do it in a group wise. Okay. Now let me understand how can we achieve this. How can we achieve this? First, we'll go ahead and we'll prepare the we'll prepare the data. Okay. First, here here what we are going to do first let me drop the tables okay if already tables are present let me drop it okay we have we have okay we have not that i dropped it already see here we are creating two tables okay whatever we have in ppt same tables we are creating it here okay i have created here you can see tables are created now the another question okay i'm going to cover another question as well here some of the cases which I have observed, okay, how to insert the data, multiple tables, multiple tables at a time. If you see here, employee table, department ID table, using insert all, we can insert the data at a time, multiple tables as well, multiple tables as well. Let's insert this. We have inserted eight rows, eight rows. Now, let me query the tables, okay, so let's start from select start from BPT as well as select start from EMP EMP tables okay let me query these two what we can see here in employee table we have a four employees and two departments and salaries as well here you can see department ID as well as department name okay now now first if you wanted to get the employee id as well as first highest salary first highest salary okay what is the row in the previous i have already explained this okay using dense rank we are going to get that how can we get that select star from select star from select okay, instead of select star from let's go ahead and do that what do we want employee id okay employee id and then salary and department id department id from select okay select emp id okay salary dpt id comma dense rank comma dense rank okay then this is the analytical function using dense rank we are going to we are going to get the department wise department wise highest salary highest salary okay let's understand this okay first here what we are doing using dense rank okay partition nothing but you are going to do the group by okay internally partition by department id partition by department id partition by department id partition by department id which nothing but you are going to do internally grouping this department id and you are ordering the salary DS, nothing but it. you are going ahead and you are doing the highest salary you are picking it up as as sal rank okay sal rank now 
Now, let me take this, okay, into next slide. Salary rank here, okay. You are making alias table name and where salary rank equals to, where salary rank equals to one, okay. First, we will get the highest salary, okay. Okay, sorry, one minute, please. From EMP, okay. I missed that from plus. Here you are taking the data from employee table and you are getting the highest salaries, highest salaries from each department level. Can I write this as a alias, alias table name? Nothing but a, here I am writing the, here I am writing the inline view, inline view. Now, if I can go ahead and can I write it up here? A, let's consider it, it's a table one. Okay, consider it, it's kind of, no, we'll keep it A, A1, okay, or AB will keep it, okay, just I'm giving some alias name. What is the thing? We are getting same thing, okay, now, now, now we want, we want, okay, we want what we want, we want department name as well, first, we have achieved this solution, first we got the highest salary. First, we got the highest salary each department level. Now, what is the next thing you want it? You want department name. If you want department name, what is the thing? You have to join the table side. Here, we are going to join the inner join. Here, you are going to do the inner join with what? Department table, okay? Consider it. This is BC, okay? We are giving alias name as BC. On what basis you are doing it? Here, on what basis you are doing it? AB dot department ID, nothing but a employee dot EMP dot employee ID, okay, equals to BC dot, nothing but a department table ID equals to department DPT ID equals to that. Now, if I can go ahead and this, okay, what we are going to do, whatever we are expecting, we are going to achieve this, okay, can we do that? Here we see department ID, department ID, but we don't want department ID. Then can we specify this? Employee ID, okay. Employee ID, here, employee ID and, and department name, okay. Then salary, okay. This is what we are expecting. This is what we are expecting. Can we see that? Whatever the output which we are expecting is same or not? This is the way you have to do that. Let me summarize the answer, okay. First part, first get the highest salary, okay? Highest salary from each department, each department. Second is join the table, okay? Join the table with department, department table. Nothing but a, once you get this highest salary from employee table, keep from each department, you are going to get that from employee table, right? You are keeping, you are creating as as alias nothing but it you are creating you are creating inline view inline view the result we are keeping as a inline view if you see here from here to here whatever we have executed we are kept as a b a b okay that is nothing but you are keeping alias table name okay just the resultant output we are making as a simple table name okay pose that you are joining inner join with the department table, department table and based on what department ID. This is the way you have to answer guys. Okay, if you have any questions on the questions and as well as answers, please comment in the comment box. I'll answer for that as well. Thank you guys. Thank you for subscribing and commenting and liking the videos. I really appreciate that we have started way back but recently last 28 days 28 days we are continuously uploading the content i see a lot of subscription subscription is happening thank you so much for everybody who subscribed the channel and moreover i am expecting i'm i'm whatever what i can say it's kind of you know i really appreciate the way you are subscribing and the way you are liking the videos thank you so much guys